No, Ravi and Cheryl, the snow didn't amount to much, about one to three inches of snow, but the cold temperatures and just how fast those temperatures dropped allowed things to freeze up quickly. And you look at the temperatures now, many areas are below zero. It's three below at Midway, two below at O'Hare, and there's still some snow falling here in northwest Indiana. What will happen later tonight? is the lake effect will get going, especially for Northeast Porter County and LaPorte County, also into Berrien County. They'll get several more inches of snow, but for the rest of the area, the accumulating snow is over. In fact, you can see the back edge of the snow has already moved past Chicago, heavy snow falling up across Michigan and now over into Ohio. But these temperatures are very, very cold. We're to eight below in St. Charles, nine below in DeKalb, zero right now at the lakefront and the winds they're getting stronger, gusting now up to 40 miles per hour in Aurora. Overnight tonight and during the day tomorrow, gust above 40 miles per hour and gust to maybe 50 miles per hour during the day tomorrow. So that brings wind chills down to 20 to 25 below here in the city. Almost 40 below is what it feels like in Aurora at this hour. And it's going to get even colder tonight. Wind chills for us here in the city tomorrow. 30 below to start the morning. That's what it'll feel like, and it's not going to get any better in the afternoon with wind chills around 20 below. And just look at the air temperatures tomorrow. Well below zero through the morning, maybe a high of one or two degrees during the afternoon tomorrow. Stays cold this weekend. We'll talk about the wind and the cold and how long it does last all coming up. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.